everybody it's kitten caboodle and welcome back again i am catching up on some old hauls and i have this um i got this quite a few months ago it was from elf.com and i'm just gonna because i have so many products gonna rate this on a scale from one to five and give you a quick you know what i liked about it or if there was a problem what i didn't like about it as everyone knows elf um elf is a website where all the cosmetics are a dollar pretty much a dollar. Some of the mineral makeup ranges from three dollars for the mineral eyeshadows to I think maybe five for the mineral foundation. And just to give you a quick overview because I know a lot of people put up of course a while ago their hauls and stuff for e.l.f. A lot of people don't touch on why the products are so inexpensive. If you know anything about e.l.f. it stands for of course eyes with face and the reasons why they're able to sell their products for so um, so low a price is because they actually spend a lot less on packaging. They use very standard, very basic packaging, basically the cheapest form of packaging. And they also package, ship, they do everything from one, one base. Most companies, their products cost a lot more because after you know they're made, they're sent somewhere else to be packaged, to be this, to be that. Elf goes all to one main, you know, person to have that done, and that's why they're able to sell it for, um, you know, those inexpensive prices. Definitely check out their new line and check back with me. I hope to be reviewing products from their new line, which is I think called Studio, where it's more of like a professional line. They have brow sets to shade in your brows, really great stuff. And all these products will make great stocking stuffers. Um, I didn't have a problem with shipping. It came relatively fast. I know some people do are having problems with the shipping, but you should really just look at it this way. You're getting these products for a dollar, so you know it might make you feel better if you're having to wait longer for shipping. Because I was hearing some people were having to wait a little longer. So to get started, um, the first item was their waterproof liquid eyeliner in black. And I liked this eyeliner a lot. It didn't crack. And NYC's liquid eyeliner would crack for me, like it would harden and crack. I really like this eyeliner. I really, really like this eyeliner. And it makes it very easy to apply. So if you're a beginner with makeup, um, you just need a steady hand. An applicator tip looks like this. And it comes in brown and burgundy and I think like a gray. So I'm looking forward to trying more of those colors. So definitely, this is a definite five. I love that liner. The next product is the Healthy Glow Bronzing Powder. And it's in this clear little compartment. It starts off by saying Elf. And this gives you kind of like, it's like a dupe to a matte color, Honor, or something like that. So if you want an inexpensive matte dupe, this would be it. It gives you, I don't know if you can see it, this really kind of like, like I said, a healthy glow, and this is in luminance, and that means like, you know, like you have a luminous glow, you look angelic, you almost look um, luminous. I would give that, I want to say a four, not because it was bad or anything like that, because it's more of a very light, it's almost like, um, um, a pearlescent. I think it would be better if I tried it on top of something else. Um, by itself, I think maybe if my skin was fairer or maybe if it was darker, I just feel like it was too much of a sheerish um, finish. So I, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna try it like on top of some other things. I just thought about that now. Like try it on top of things. So I give that a four just because I feel like it doesn't show up as much as I want it to, but probably on top of something. So definitely check back. You'll be seeing me use this in um, some looks. Uh, the next item was a tone correcting concealer in medium. I loved this. I feel like this is halfway done. I loved it. It wasn't heavy and it wasn't too runny. It was kind of in between liquidy and heavy. So, I mean, I have it on now and it concealed my blemishes like that. I actually used it um, when I was on a um, set the other day. And as a sponge tip applicator, and a lot of e.l.f. products have this orangey smell to it. It's not orangey, like grape. Like a lot of their lip gloss has these grape smells to it and the foundations and the stick 
Fix have these orangey smell. So I love this concealer. This is definitely a five. Definitely a five. It covered all of my um, all of my blemishes, and it's actually better than the Benefit that I usually use, which was twenty four dollars. So you get this for a dollar, and it does just what Benefit does. And actually, this is better because Benefit is a little heavy. So when you sweat, it tends to look greasy. This is awesome. It kind of has a matte finish, in my opinion. The next item is Sheer Foundation SPF 15. And I got Tone 3, and I love this. For some odd reason, this doesn't sting my eyes, like um, when I did the review, review on Sephora's Tint and Moisturizer. I was assuming that the SPF was the reason that my, my, eyes were, my eye area was kind of stinging. I really like this. It goes on very sheer. By itself, it doesn't give a good enough sheer, like a sheer coverage. Um, but if you use it with the uh, tone correcting concealer, you'll be good to go. So two dollars, you can conceal and you can have a foundation. This is definitely a five. I definitely like this in my book. The next item was an all over concealer stick in medium. I'm, I'm sorry, all over color <coughs> stick and medium. And it has a twist applicator. And as you can see, I have used it. This is, I would give a four. You need to apply it very lightly. Like literally take your foundation brush or your concealer brush, just tap it. And that little bit goes a long way because this is very heavy. It's not that it's oily, it's just that it's very heavy. You need to use it sparingly, like just use a little, little tiny bit. That's the only thing I didn't like because if you're in a rush, you know, you kind of like literally have to tap it, you know, perfectly or you're going to get too much on your brush and it's going to just be too much. Um, so that's why I give them a four. I think it could be a little lighter, but if you're looking for heavy, heavy coverage, this will probably be great. So that's why I give this a four, the all over cover stick. The next item is a Shimmering Facial Whip. Toasted. This is a great base. These come in a variety of colors, and you can use them for your cheeks, your eyes, or your lips. I use this for my eyes as a base. You can't just use this alone. You would have to use like a primer, then this, then your shadow, and then it works great. Um, I didn't have any creasing problems. But I think without, the, without a primer, it probably would. And I, I tried it a little bit on my cheeks because it was brown. I was kind of like, but it, it goes as a great kind of like maybe a base to a blush, maybe like a bronzy blush. And this is called, you know, this is again called Toasted. It's a very, shake it up so you get a really true. It's a very like, like Max Pantina. It's kind of like that, a very, um, or not wood winks. Wood, wood groundwork, groundwork, like the paint pot groundwork. This is what it's like, and it's in a tube with a, a tip applicator. So I would give that. I would give it a. I would definitely give it a five. I didn't have any problems with it. It's just if you were to minus the primer, I'd probably give it a four. So I really like that. The, the hyper shine gloss and honey. I like. It has one of those cranking. You know, you twist the the thing. So that's great because it doesn't spill all over your purse. You actually have to crank it. That's great, and has a cap. And I really liked this. It was a great color. It was a sheer, like, um, brown with golden flecks in it. So it's very neutral. Maybe if you're going out on a date or something and you don't want something too wild, I really like this. It's great. Um, it's um, in honey, and again, it's the Hyper Shine Gloss. I give this a five. Anything that I give a five, I would definitely consider these as stocking stuffers because they're only a dollar and they're awesome.